everyone and welcome to day 306 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together. I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey for today. I can't wait to share some of my thoughts and reflections with you as we journey through the Bible together. But hey, I would love to hear from you as well. So please make sure you comment below. Let me know what your thoughts and reflections on these passages of scripture are today. I would love to hear some of your revelation and insight as we journey through the Bible together. So uh, the first thing that really stood out to me was from Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. It's a famous verse, a real banger of a verse again. It says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. We see in this passage of scripture that the, the word of God is living and active. It's not just an ancient relic to be observed. It is a powerful living word that is here to change us, to move us, to make us new. It has the power to transform us. The word of God is creative. The word of God is powerful. Powerful. The word of God is like nothing else on earth. And so this passage of scripture really reminds us of the power of the word of God. And when we speak the word of God, we actually speak those powerful words into our lives, into our circumstances and situations as we read it and as we declare it. Um, I also love this passage of scripture in Joel, another banger of a verse, Joel chapter 2, verse 26 to 29. Um, and it says this, You shall eat the plenty in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and there is no one else. And my people shall never again be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Even on my male and female servants in those days, I will pour out my spirit. We see in this passage of scripture that God is really speaking about the future. It's uh, in Joel, it's in the Old Testament, but he's really speaking into a time that is coming. And what I loved about this passage of scripture is number one, Peter quotes it on the day of Pentecost and he says, this has been fulfilled, you know, in this time, in this day, the time has come for the Holy Spirit to be poured out upon us, upon not just the kings and the priests and the prophets, but the Holy Spirit has been poured out on all people, on sons and daughters, on uh, male servants, servants and female servants on all sorts of people the Holy Spirit has been poured out but what I loved in particular about this passage of scripture as well um, it talks about there being no more shame and this time when the Holy Spirit is being poured out uh, uh, being a time where the shame is taken away and why is the shame taken away from these people who have received the Holy Spirit their shame has been taken away because Jesus has dealt with their shame on the cross when Jesus paid the price for our sins he actually carried the burden of our shame and so I would love to pray for us today if we've been dealing with shame something that's attached to who we are and our identity if we feel shame over things that we've done over who we are I would love to pray that the power of shame would be broken off of our lives today and that we would see God for who he really is and how he sees us that we would live in the fullness of life in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the power of the love that Jesus has for us breaking us free from shame. So God, I just pray for my friend today, Lord. I thank you that you're speaking to us today. I thank you, Lord God, that your word is living and active. It has the power to change and transform us, Lord God. I thank you that as we read and as we speak your scripture, God, we are declaring words that carry power, that carry creative power, that carry uh, the power to change and transform things as we read it and as we declare it, God. And I just pray as we talked about being filled with the Holy Spirit and this time of no more shame. God, we thank you that we would live shame free in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ that has set us free from condemnation and set us free from shame. If we carry shame around our identity, who we are, the things we've done, our past, 
or, or who we are, things about ourselves that we don't like. God, I thank you right now that that shame would be broken off of us in Jesus' name and we would live in the fullness of the power of the Holy Spirit and the identity that he brings to us as sons and daughters of God. We just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory today in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said amen, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me for day 306, my friend. I'll catch you tomorrow for day 307. See you then. Bye.